Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Molecular Kitchen where we cook and think about the chemistry behind the cooking, think about the science behind the cooking. So in today's episode, we are going to make dhania chicken. So dhania chicken is a dish made from chicken, cilantro, green chilies and other spices. I really like this dish. So we all have our individual preferences in food, right? But the case for cilantro is a little diff different. Some people find it really fresh. Uh, on the other hand, some people find it really uh, soapy, buggy. So we want to know science behind this. We take onions, um, chickens, ginger, garlic, green chilies, chopped onions, and lots of green leaves and cilantro or dhania. This is the main part. So what is the chemistry behind the cilantro smell? Ultimately, it's all about uh, different kind of saturated or unsaturated aldehydes. Uh, for example, these aldehydes are perceived as really fruity and green. Uh, however, these aldehydes are perceived as really soapy. Different people have different perception about these uh, aldehydes and that's why the cilantro taste them differently to them. Now we chopped the cilantro uh, and put it into a um, blender, add the garlic, ginger, green chilies, chopped onions again, cumin seeds, salt to taste. and water now you're going to blend everything really nicely to make a homogeneous um, mixture of course the fresh green color is due to chlorophyll pig, uh, chlorophyll pigments uh, i really like this molecule i do a research lot with this molecule this is really nice to watch refreshing Now we are going to marinate the chicken with this green paste. Here it goes. Mix it really well. So that all the flavor can go into the chicken. We're going to leave it for an half an hour. Now as we are waiting, let's think about why some people perceive cilantro differently. Seems like there is some genetic factor in it. For example, in this paper, the researchers studied the perception of cilantro and other herbs in human twins. And they found that the perception difference in cilantro is connected with the, a little um, change in the nucleotide and in some genes like TRPA1 gene, these are called. And in this paper also, the scientists actually studied around 14,000 people and they're mostly European and they found that uh, again, the single change in nucleotides um, in another gene called ORA62 gene and that is related to the perception of cilantro. So some people only perceive the good aldehydes like this one. Uh, on the other hand, some people might just uh, perceive um, the bad aldehydes like this one and they will think the uh, cilantro is really not good. Now going back to the cooking so we add oil in a pan and then we add the chicken it's really fun to watch the chicken is bouncing 
Now we cook it slowly under low heat. We cover it with a lid. You have to stir it occasionally so that the chickens get cooked from all sides. Looks like water slowly evaporates and while separates out and it started smelling really good. Yeah, I can't wait to test this. This will be really good. Now looks like chicken is well cooked at this point. So we're getting there. ready finally now to spice things up we add some fried onions in it we call it torka uh, so we'll fry some chopped onions you can also give some uh, uh, dried chili uh, but it's already really hot no so I am not adding it. You can add salt, of course. You have to add salt. Now, once the onions are done, you can mix this into the chicken. It will taste awesome. Now it's time to serve and enjoy this dish. You can take it with um, rice or roti, whatever you like. Thanks for watching and see you next week. If you like this video, please consider subscribing it.